The positive and negative nitrogen balance is our next topic for today. And if you see that um, the students in our exam were asked this question, and the question was what? Differentiate between positive and negative nitrogen balance. All right? So um, where you're asked to differentiate between a positive and negative nitrogen balance, you can actually put it in a table. Or you can say, okay, positive nitrogen balance is this, while negative is like this. Do you understand? But how I did it here was to discuss positive nitrogen balance differently. Why? Because sometimes you might be asked to just write an essay on it, okay? So I discussed the positive nitrogen balance differently, the negative nitrogen balance differently. So when you know it, you can now be able to know the differences. Do you understand? Then I also spoke about the zero nitrogen balance, right? Because you can rephrase the exam question and say that you talk about zero nitrogen balance, right? So um, talking about um, the positive nitrogen balance now, well, first of all, let's have an overview. Nitrogen balance is the difference between nitrogen intake, the, the nitrogen you are taking in and the nitrogen you are excreting for your body, all right? So that means if your intake is more than what you are excreting, the balance becomes positive. If what you are excreting is more than what you are taking, the balance becomes negative. If what you are taking is equally what you are excreting, the balance becomes more zero. As simple as that, right? So for the positive nitrogen balance is when the nitrogen intake is more than what is going out, more than the excretion, right? So it's, uh, it's mostly in an anabolic state. Anabolic is like build up. So nitrogen will be building up in your body. All right, catabolic is breakdown, okay, or less than, all right. So it will lead to what muscle growth and repair, all right. It will lead to increased protein synthesis, right. What are the examples? Um, when there's muscle building and strength training, all right, for people who do exercise, right, they have a positive nitrogen balance. Then in children, mostly in children and adolescents, where growth is high. All right, they have a positive nitrogen balance. When you are recovering from an illness or injury, you have a ni positive nitrogen balance. Like your body will basically what? Devise a mechanism where nitrogen excretion is reduced. Do you understand? So in pregnancy and lactation, all right, and you can see that all the examples usually in people whose well, demands for nutrients is basically high, okay? If they'll have a positive nitrogen balance, right? So you see this is a positive, it's a negative, right? Below, right? Then this line should form the zero nitrogen balance that we're talking about, right? Then for the negative now, negative is when your nitrogen intake is less than what, what you are taking out. So nitrogen intake is less than the nitrogen excretion, right? So this is mostly in what catabolic states. Catabolic state is more of like the breakdown. This is in people where uh let's say metabolism is going on so crazy right so that is a severe breakdown of things right so nitrogen mm, the excretion is so is much more than the intake right so mostly in people that have muscle breakdown people have what decrease okay like it will lead to a decrease protein synthesis right so this one is usually related to disease condition right or some abnormal conditions right so in people who are malnourished or starving, you have this problem. People who have a severe illnesses or trauma, you have this problem. People who are aging or who are having muscle wasting, you see that some people, when they are aging, they become shorter because there's now what atrophy of the muscles, right? So all this will lead to what breakdown and the nitrogen excretion will be higher than what is being taken in, right? People who are on prolonged fasting or calorie restriction, also have this problem right then let's talk about the zero nitrogen balance now this is where your nitrogen intake equals your nitrogen excretion all right so there's homeostasis that means there's a balance of everything there's maintenance of your muscle mass your muscle mass is not decreasing your muscle mass is not increasing it's just normal right it's mostly in, able, in, in healthy adults who have a stable weight all right can be seen in athletes who maintain, who are in a maintenance phase. They are not doing all those vigorous exercise and they are not relaxing too much, right? So they are just like in the middle. It's seen in, 
individuals who are on adequate nutrition, right? You are not starving, you are not overfeeding, you're just normal, right? So that's it for the differences between what positive and negative nitrogen balance.